Well, in this case, we are going to test uh, a fire pump motor. First with the all test, and then with the Baker AWA 4 6KV unit. Uh, for the all test equipment, we're going to go ahead and do the auto mode. Short the leads together. Connect the winding. Run the test. Phase one. Connect winding two. Run the test. Winding three. Run the test. Okay. Looks okay. Do an insulation and ground test. Yes, we will. Change my lead position. Looks okay. Megohms. Press OK. We can save our data. A, B, C. Phase. Save it. Yes. What we're looking at here is we have balance. Oh, we have slightly unbalanced resistance. The uh, phase angle is off by more than one degree, meaning we have some type of short. Um, measured balanced here and balanced here, so looks like we have a slight short. What we'll do is we'll change the shaft position, run the test one more time. Shaft position is changed 90 degrees. Rerun the test. Okay. The next lead. Press OK. And it's in the same order. Press OK. Press OK. Skip the insulation test, we've already done it. Uh, you'll note that there's been a slight change. Resistance is balanced. I've got uh, uh, 6, 6, and 5 ohms of impedance. My phase angle has changed position. This means that my phase, on, my, uh, phase angle unbalance is due to uh, rotor bars. So I have casting voids or a uh, bad rotor down here and everything else is balances to change as well. Again, that indicates the rotor. You change the shaft, shaft position and you change uh, and you keep everything else the same and it changes by phase, then the problem is in the rotor. In this case, we're testing the AWA4 6KV unit on uh, this machine. Uh, same one we did the all test on, which is a 50 horsepower machine. Uh, in this case, set up for 200 volts. 
we're going to set up is a 230 volt to the machine. So what we need to do is add a new motor. We do this. Um, we've already got the database set up for our incoming area. Uh, we're going to call this uh, by the job number. The model um, number here is a T672. Um, it is a US electric. Uh, serial number F01. set up to do the 230 volt testing. So we got all this stuff entered. We go to tests. Have it set up already for uh, resistance. Uh, mega test the dielectric absorption only. A high pot 700 volts. Surge to 700 volts only. Um, we now connect the leads and ground. set and we run the auto test. Press both and let it run. We need to enter in the temperature. Today it's a little cooler today so about 75 degrees in here. Um, that would be Fahrenheit. Accept it. Then we allow it to operate. Oops. Well, let's try that again. <laughs> I'm going to uh, wart out of that. Stop this test. Going to run the auto test again. Okay. Degrees C, so we'll just call this uh, 19 degrees C. Accept it. You notice that it is running its measurements. Kelvin bridge first. Sixty 
361, 361, 0.0361. Just going to say that was acceptable. Passed. It is now running the uh, Megger and the dielectric absorption for one minute. As soon as it comes up to voltage, which it ramps up, it will then begin timing down. Reading's not too bad so far, but let's see what it has to say because it will correct for temperature for us. Okay, and now it's doing its dielectric absorption, which it does another two minutes of test. It actually takes a ratio of the three minute to one minute versus uh, uh, your. Uh, uh, one minute, uh, 30 seconds to one minute, which is the actual defined. My real question is, am I going to fit in the 10-minute YouTube uh, requirement? <laughs> uh, polarization index test would be a complete 10-minute test. In that case, I uh, decided to skip that. Now here we are, we're doing a straight high pot. Uh, we're not doing the step voltage test, uh, which will take a little longer. And we're going to see what the uh, test results are, what kind of leakage we get after one minute. is that this motor apparently had been submerged in recent storms uh, during June of uh, 2010. So it passed that and it's now going to the surge test. Now that's auto ranging right now. I'm going to try to keep this part intact for the uh, video. We're also 
only surging to 700 volts. Tests and it said it is passed.